This tutorial will show you how to change your COMSOL license file for CPU and NSL license types. Before you begin, please have the license file readily accessible. We suggest placing the file on your computer's desktop. Please also make sure to have a working internet connection or the media for the COMSOL installer program if no connection is available. The most common reasons you will need to change your COMSOL license file include transferring the license to a new computer, when the host ID of your system changes due to a changed network card or hard drive, changing the license type, changing the modules in the license, or updating from a trial license to a paid license. The updated license file should have been received via an email from COMSOL. If you haven't received an updated license file, please contact your COMSOL representative. To update your license file, we will need to use the COMSOL installer. For COMSOL Multiphysics versions 5.2 and up, you can start the installer by going through the Start menu, under All Programs, selecting your COMSOL folder, and then clicking Setup. For all other versions of COMSOL Multiphysics, you can also run the installer by going through the C drive on your computer, navigating to the COMSOL folder for your existing installation, and clicking the setup.exe file. Lastly, you can access the installer by downloading it. If you already have the COMSOL installer open, please skip ahead to the next chapter. Otherwise, we will show you how to download the installer. To download the installer, go to the COMSOL website where you will see the link Product Download on the bottom right hand side. You can also find this from the support portal at the top of the page. Click on Product Download and log into your COMSOL Access account. If you do not have a COMSOL Access account, you will need to create your account before continuing. After entering your information, you will be taken to the installer landing page. Click on the appropriate operating system and version to begin the download. Once the installer has downloaded, click the file and then run to open the COMSOL installer program in a window. The COMSOL installer can also be retrieved from a DVD. On the download page, there is an option to download the DVD image for offline installation. After the image has been downloaded, you can burn the DVD image to a disk or run the files from your machine in order to install the software without internet connection. Alternatively, you may request a DVD from a COMSOL representative. If you are installing from the DVD, you will need to insert the media into the DVD drive and the COMSOL setup window should appear. If it does not, open the DVD folder and click on the setup.exe file. The COMSOL installer window will appear. In the installer screen, click on the Change License menu button. If you have purchased new modules and would like to install these onto your machine, you must use this option. The Add Slash Remove Features button can only add or remove features from the currently installed license. The installer will now update your installation with the new products licensed. After reading the license agreement, click the I accept the terms of the license agreement button. Now point the installer to the location of the license file we want to use. In most cases, this will be an updated license file that you would have received via email. In the License menu, choose Specify New License. In the License Format drop-down menu, you can enter the path to the License.dat file or click Browse to find it. In this case, I've saved the file to my desktop and will browse to the location. Click Next. On this page, you can usually accept the default settings and just click Next. On this screen, review the installed modules and the modules that will be updated or removed from your license file. Those modules that will be added will have a green plus sign, and those removed or uninstalled will show a red X. Note that this screen also includes a Repair All Selected Features checkbox. If you click this checkbox, the installer will repair all products associated with your installation.
In this section, you can change the installation options. I will keep mine at their default setting. Click the install button to start the update. This may take a few minutes. If the DirectX window pops up before the end of the installation, accept the agreement and install. The console finish page will appear automatically when the installation is complete. If there is an installation problem or for more information on the installation, you can click view log to see the automatically generated log file. Click finish to quit the installer.